Welcome to Ford the Bash Sports. We're outside the Emirates Stadium where Arsenal are facing Wolves. We're here with two Arsenal fans. Give us your name, boys. Uh, Oliver. Oliver and John. And John. Now, you seem a bit young. I don't feel like you've seen Arsenal win the Premier League. Uh, no, I haven't. I thought this was the year, but it really wasn't. Oh, so what do you think the issue was? What happened this season? Like, you were ahead for such a long time and then it kind of fell apart. I think it was really the pressure that got to us. The like, pressure. we're a very young team and it gives us experience going into next year. We're going to be a club that knows how to deal with it. And when you've got City, who are monsters, they're robots. Like, when you've got them chasing you down, you can't really do a lot about it. You I think there was a lot of tiredness involved in the World Cup as well. I think the likes of Saka that we relied on so much, I think it just got to him in the end. I know it's an easy excuse, but we just didn't have the depth in squad to, to sort of replace him and, and play someone else. So I think there was a, a, an element of pressure and tiredness in there, to be honest. You mentioned Saka and there's talks of him about to sign a new deal. So would you say like the future is bright for the Arsenal players? You mentioned how young the squad is. Within two years, three years, could there be potentially a Premier League or even a Champions League medal? Oh yeah, like 100%. I think by two years' time, we could be reaching a Champions League semi-final. I think we got that amount of depth and as our players continue to grow and gain that experience of challenging for trophies, which we needed for so long we need that hunger and with the, those young players you get that they want to win something this club like and that keep and we've got that really yeah i think when maturity comes through there's definitely a possibility of some some finals champions league not so sure but definitely premier leagues that's definitely a, an opportunity to to overcome and why do you support arsenal why not manchester united or tottenham because uh, I'm not a glory hunter and I, re I represent my dad, you know. Oh, I hear that, so Arsenal's in the blood. Yeah, I, I, I've been taught well. You've been taught well. Um, is there any positions you think the squad should strengthen next season? Yeah, I'd say we definitely need a striker that's scoring 20 goals a season. Um, and we need an, a decent right back, someone let Ben White maybe move into the middle as a, even if he's a sort of a bit player, but there to replace either Gabriel or Saliba get a decent right back. I think we could prob probably have one in each position really, just to, to, to strengthen the squad overall. Uh, so what position you would you like to strengthen and is there any player you would like to sign? Uh, I think Moussa Diaby would be a very good signing. We've been kind of linked with him and it gives Saka that rest, which is needed a lot this season. Like he's got into it and by now he's like knackered, especially like that World Cup. You're so young, how come you know so much about football? I just, it's my hobby really, I've liked it since I was really young, I play a lot of FIFA as well, like that gets me into it and kind of what you need to know. Yeah, okay, uh, who do you think is Arsenal's player this season, Odegaard or Saka, or is it somebody else? Uh, I think Saliba or Odegaard, and the reason I say Saliba is because if you look at how many goals people can see to the game, like it was 0.8 something per game with Saliba, and then it's gone up to I think 1.7 without him, like you could just see that difference and like... Uh, that that um, oh, dominance yeah. we have at the back and that we could go forward and play that high line of how we want to play. Sorry for the stat man here. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, I'd be inclined to agree with him to be honest with you. Um, he knows what he's talking about. It, it was a massive loss losing Saliba. Massive loss and you could see it. It knocked the confidence right around throughout the team knowing that they didn't have that reliability. Ramsdale at the back, he didn't have Saliba at the front, in front of him. It, it had a knock-on effect right throughout the squad. So, yeah, Saliba, Odegaard, um, and Saka. Yeah, they'd, they'd be my top three. And what should be the targets for next season? Next season, you're facing what four trophies. What should be the targets for each trophy? Uh, I think Carabao Cup. I'd like to maybe push for the semis. FA Cup. I'd love to win that. Like it's what we're known for. Most FA Cups, as everybody knows, 14. Uh, and then Prem, I think I think we'll fall short again next season because City will keep on adding. Like when they've won that Champions League, they'll just keep going and going. And then Champions League, I think quarterfinals. So if you don't win a Premier League next season, would you be happy with like a strong challenge like you had this season? Oh, 100 percent. And bear in mind, we've also got Champions League football, which every Arsenal fan has been desperately wanting. We're just back where we belong. Yeah, um, sustaining our position in the league is going to be really difficult next season. You're going to have your Newcastles, your Chelsea's, your Liverpools. They're all going to improve. Man City are constantly improving every year. Um, the only plus to it is that everyone can beat everyone. That's the one thing about this Premiership. There's not one team that can't beat another. So, a bit of silverware, Champions League. 
I'd say quarterfinals again. I don't think we'll end up in the Europa League. Carabao Cup, I think that'll be cities. They just, they've got two squads to play. So FA Cup I'd be happy with and a fourth play fin top four finish. And the last but not least, I know the game's a bit irrelevant, but score predictions? 3-0 uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. I'm going to say 4-1. Well, there you have it. But what are your thoughts? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You're watching for the badge.